The only thing that makes one element different from another element is the number of protons in the nucleus. In chemistry, the number of protons is called the atomic number. Looking at these different elements, you can see that the atomic number and the protons are the same. And you can also see that the number of electrons in a neutral atom is also the same. But neutrons and mass number don't follow the same pattern. So let's take a quick look at the structure of an atom. Inside the atom is a nucleus where positively charged protons and neutral neutrons are clustered together. Swirling around in the electron cloud far from the nucleus are the super tiny negatively charged electrons. In a neutral atom, there are as many protons as there are electrons. For example, this is a carbon atom and has six protons in the nucleus and six electrons in the electron cloud. Their charges cancel, creating a neutral atom. The mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. If you add up the atom, there are six protons and six neutrons, making the mass number 12. Oftentimes you'll see an element symbol with a number like C14, or carbon-14, or C with a 14 superscripted. These numbers are telling you the mass number, which is the number of protons plus neutrons. If you know the number of protons, which you can look up on the periodic table as the atomic number, then you can do a little subtraction. So the question is, how many neutrons are there in C14? Take the mass number, subtract the atomic number, and you get... 8. 8 neutrons in the sample of carbon-14, which also happens to be an isotope, which is an atom that has the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. Isotopes of an element are still the same element, just like apples of different colors are still apples. Here are three different isotopes of carbon. All of them have six protons and six electrons. The only difference is the number of neutrons. Carbon-12 has six, carbon-13 has seven, and carbon-14 has eight neutrons. But there's a way to change the number of electrons, and for many elements, it's something they want to do. An ion is an atom or group of atoms that has a positive or negative charge. They get a charge by either gaining or losing an electron. Sometimes atoms gain an electron, which outnumbers their protons. This is how anions are formed. In this case, there are six protons and seven electrons, leaving an overall negative charge. This is an anion because anions are negatively charged. It helps me to remember that anions have the letter N in it twice, which stands for negative. When an atom loses an electron, the protons outnumber the electrons, leaving the atom with an overall positive charge. That is how cations are formed. Cations are positively charged ions. I remember cations are positive because they have a T in it and it looks like a plus sign. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.